Okay. events connected to it you feel its history it's an echo in the force from the object not many jedi have that skill how would you know that i was once a jedi but not anymore do i know you no but i knew your master jaro to paul he was a true guardian of the republic was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when you survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. Jedi I knew discovered it before the purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. Okay, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of In today's video, we're back playing uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You know, the long form series. No idea what he just said. I just talked completely over him. Um, I don't trust her. Like, even the way she said all of that stuff leads me to not trust her. Like, even when I first played that, didn't. And then learning more stuff about her makes me not trust. Uh, knowing more stuff about her makes me not trust her more. But y'all gonna see that later. Hopefully, I make this jump. Definitely didn't think I would. So all these little meditation spots are like save points too. And basically what we have to do is work our way towards that temple. Uh, save points. So at a save point, you ac I can access your skill tree. And I think I know what ability I want already. Never mind. Like a powerful strike that's deadly against weaker foes. Oh, I don't use that ability almost ever. I forgot all about it actually. Um, and you can rest also. So you have your skill tree and you have rest. When you rest, you get all of your life force back, but all the enemies also respawn. So in this game, you can't just like rush to an area and then that area is going to be safe forever. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. Searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Did you just 
slice that? Thanks. And of course, in any Star Wars game, you got your main joy character to go with you because what? In well, Fallen Order BB1. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Then in uh, Battlefront 2, I don't know what the thing's name was, but there was that one also. Um, The one that was with... Not, oh, fuck, I keep wanting to say Ray. It's not Ray or Kylo Ren. It's... uh, Fuck, Iden Versio. Can I... Thanks. Jeez. Just let me looking at the stuff. So BB1 also runs around and like scans stuff for us, make sure that we don't miss it, it part points out secrets and stuff like that for us. Although it doesn't do any real fighting or anything like that. It's more of a companion than a uh actual fighter. I sense something over here. Don't think there's anything up here, so I should be good to like slide down into this pit. That's a really big bug. Oh, that's that move, and we should be able to cut most things in here in half immediately. Oh, those died immediately. Usually, it's like a three hit, like a normal combo that you get just from clicking the button. But I guess those ones are even weaker than normal. Oh, fuck. That scared me. First echo here. It was after boggling eggs in the pack fought back. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of the, the echoes are just going to be random stuff around through a rare ability from... Okay, whatever. So, a lot of the stuff is just like little hidden paths. Sometimes you'll get like... I guess that's why BD1 warned me. All right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Sometimes you'll get stuff like uh, the last moments of a clone trooper, stuff like that. So there's a lot of uh, different There are a lot of different types of echoes you can get. So it's not like always going to be some animal that's dead and we come and figure out why it's dead or whatever. Any ideas? Got to get across this gap somehow. A lot of this beginning section is a lot of jumping around again, exploring the different ways that you can move. Whoa. Now we got this zipline ability with BB-8. Oh know? shit, I'm gonna say BB-8 a lot. With BB-1. I don't really need to rest yet, so no point in doing so. Right now, BB-1 is just leading us around the places, so I'm just gonna keep following him Careful instead of going off and exploring. Scrapyard. Damn. Maybe she's got two piece. Whore. Alright. You know, I struggled when I played this the first time. Like I kept getting my ass beat by stuff because I was trying to okay? power through it too much. Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Hmm. Okay, Let's try that. That was gross. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Wait. That's a little small for me. 
Customized lightsaber. I don't know what all the customizations are that you can get or if you can unlock more colors than just this, but I'll, I've been using orange since the very beginning. It just looks better to me. At least not as basic as like blue or green. And I gotta unlock, I gotta go through and find some more material so I can make this lightsaber actually look good. Cause otherwise it's just, it's there, you know? And I think it uses a lot of the lightsaber models from old games. So I don't know whose lightsaber is what in the game. I just know I've seen a lot of the models that it gives us before. And most of them match each other too. So you can kind of tell, like if you know what the lightsaber looked like before you played the game, you'll be able to tell what it looks like during the game. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. That also scared me. Yeah, I'm all right. You know, it's funny how this stuff is scaring me. Like I've never played the game before. Healing stem. You're full of surprises. I think that just could just as easily could have been some sort of poison or like non-healing chemical because it is just a bright green okay. thing in a vial that gets injected easily uh, uh, okay <laughs> here hop on board also don't know what took the power out here so, how'd you get here <laughs> don't remember i've never known a forgetful droid can't argue with that you can wipe a power bank. They did that to R2-D2 uh, at least once. And I'm sure CP3, C, C3PO had his shit wet. Wow. Okay. I'm sure C3PO got his stuff messed up too. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. I think I said CP3 or I don't know how to say his name right, but whatever. We mapped everywhere we've been. Certain paths will be in exit. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad I stopped saying that out loud. There are some maps that have like I can't make it three or four there. layers are like yeah, really deep way. layers. Like if you go to like a mining planet or something like that, those are always going to be harder to get access to or move through, especially trying to look at the map and move through it too. Um, Yeah, I want to jump over there. And I'm trying to make sure I don't like go somewhere and then get cut off from the location I'm supposed to be at. Like one time I went all the way back there the first time I played through because I think that's a new location Went all the way back there and then slid was well, slid back there and then I think I have to start all the way over almost all the way over that shit's huge I've Never seen that before. I'm just gonna act like it's not there No, it doesn't give a fuck about us. That's great That's I don't know why I couldn't just swing from there to here, but I guess it led me to a secret that I wanted, so I'm not too upset. There's a lot of cool stuff like that where it flows. Like, it's not always going <gasps> to... Shit. Hang on. Wait for him to kill that thing first. When they turn red, it's an unavoidable attack. Uh, I think it definitely talked about that in the first episode. Sorry to make sure that bitch died. Mm. It's just a big ass fucking toad. I don't want to swing on it. 
too much. Because I know if I swing on it too much, then it's going to just hit me in the middle of my swing. And I won't be able to. You can't just switch from the being in the middle of a swing to a dodge. That would make the game probably too easy. So I kind of like how they did that, too. Although it's really annoying and definitely gets me fucked up most of the time. But it's still a cool aspect. It forces people who want to try and power through the game to slow down at least a little bit. Whoa. Should have been quicker, I guess. Okay. We just have to come back to that later. So a lot of the game, ooh, we can't go that way either. A lot of it is like trying to figure out where you're supposed to be able to go now. And then also trying to remember those locations for when you come back later, because you come back to planets at different points in time. Uh, Yeah, I do have to go that way so I can just climb. You have to come back to each planet at least once or twice, depending on the missions and stuff like that. So all these areas that are red or marked like that piece, I'll be able to get I'll be I'll be able to get through that area eventually. But right now I just can't because I don't have the necessary abilities to do so. Ah, this is where I'm trying to go. I almost left the area. Should have looked around a little bit more before I jumped in here, but we're here now. But I think this is going towards the way out now. Ooh, I'm glad that was there. I think you can't do that little like drop down attack unless they didn't see you coming. So it's like a, a sneak attack, basically. Where are you going? She's scanning there, bud. A pair of fish. I thought this was that thing that was outside before already. Ooh, that's gross. Kind of kicked its dead body a little. Oh, uh, okay. So a cowpea ter terrarium seed. So there's that little area of like dirt to the left of us when we came out. I don't even think I'm going to put that in the video. There's a little area on the ship where you can grow plants. Um, What was that thing doing? Get out of here. Which I'll show you probably when we get back to the ship. I don't know how long I'm going to be in this area, though. I know that first time I played through, I was in here for Hellas, but mostly because I was running around looking for secrets. So I kept getting lost. But right now, we're near where we need to go. How much time, man? Ooh, I feel like I'm running this backwards, though. That's what it feels like to me. Is this more seeds already? Well done. Oh, I don't know if y'all heard that, but there was a honking from outside somewhere. Right now we got a big ass winter stone that's gonna roll in. I started talking while I was still mute. I tried to mute myself during the cutscenes. Oh fuck, that was weird. It's difficult, master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Oops. Okay. That's what I didn't like about this stuff. It was like, here, do this, uh, do this like parkour esque track thing, right? But also, we're gonna bring them in as you do it instead of, you know, fuck, fuck. Instead of uh, earlier. Definitely wasn't gonna make that jump. Where am I? Oh, okay. So like the oops, first jump was supposed to be it. So like I was saying before, there's a lot of parkour and movement elements in this game as compared to a lot of the other Star Wars games. I don't know why I put emphasis on a lot. 
can show me that shortcut again? Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know why I said a lot like it was a bad thing or something. Or like it was a critique of Star Wars games. Okay, so I need to get back over there, right? Yes, yeah, the spot. Okay, so now what I was trying not to give away early and I hope I didn't was that you have to come back to certain areas with different abilities and they go from red to orange. So now since I was able to do this, it was well, it was green because I'd already seen it. But if I hadn't come here first and somehow managed to get Tracy there. Oh, it's on. If I somehow managed to get like to the wall running area before I found that exit right there or the, the wall running area that we just did, I guess I would have just got the ability. It would have stayed orange, but since I'd been there already, it was red, then became green because now I can get through that area. And the game's not going to be like, well, maybe you can. You got to go back and check. Like, it just lets you know, which I like about that. Like about the game also. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay. You probably would have won. Probably. Let me save it before I walk in here actually. I'm definitely gonna run around back there just right quick, just to see, you know. Yep. Pushing R also like interacts with BB1 as well. I think they call him BB, so maybe not calling him BB1 is my issue. Going for the number. Maybe I'll post like the the database or whatever. Probably not. I probably won't do. Uh, I don't know. I might like read stuff out the database onto TikTok or something where it's like short form. But only the stuff I'm interested in personally I, is probably what I'm going to read. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. 
or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? Okay. So I remember going to Zepho, but I don't remember shit else about the place, to be honest. But search for Zepho uh, for ancient tombs. All right. So at this point, we're just headed back to the ship. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video there and bring y'all back when we actually land on Zepho. And I don't know where the fuck we're going right now. That's how we got in there. Wow. Anyways, so I'm probably going to um, stop the video here because all, all I'm going to do now is run back to the ship. That is one thing that's uh, cool about it. I think I think it's actually a good part of the game. You're not getting teleported around. So, yeah, they're just letting me know that the ship is waiting, but you don't have to fuck. There's another one of these things. No, Poe. Yeah, solid three swings, two hits. Woo. Yeah, okay. It says something about cutting one of these things tongues. Let me see. You can't really desecrate the dead body, so I don't even know why I tried to. I like how their dead bodies are interactive, but not like, oh, I can just sit here and chop this up into pieces, you know, because it's still like, a, it's not a kid's game necessarily, but it's not a rated M game. It's probably like E10 plus or something like that. Uh, Don't know how to get out of here. I'm still talking after I said I was going to end the video, but oh, I don't think it's going to take us that long to get back. Usually, like, on your way back, there's going to be a shortcut or two. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. So as I was saying, there's a lot of shortcuts that open up to make it faster to get back, despite uh, having left. Is he going to pop out again? No. That one we can't scan, but this one leads us to Dathomir. So if you don't know, because I'm sure there's at least like one or two people who don't know. I don't know how many people are going to see this. Uh, if you don't know, Dathomir is the home world of the Night Sisters, which would be Asaz Ventress if you've seen Clone Wars. And actually, I don't know if it's a Saj Ventures, but I'm going to keep saying it anyways. I've been saying it forever. That's her home planet. The home planet of uh, Savage Oppress and Darth Maul. All of those people. Uh, increased life. Increased force. We don't have enough force that I actually want to do anything with. So I'm not even going to look at that until like one or two more for at least one more force upgrade. But I do like this ability. This is the main ability that I use. I use it to close the distance because I'm, I'm up close in your face. I play, <laughs> I just thought about it. I play Star Wars like I play D&D &D usually where I'm running my character all the way into the fight and then just dealing with it as it comes. Uh, that is all side quest. So I'm trying to get back to where we need to go because we can go either way here now. Uh, um, That's not a drop, is it? Uh, this is pretty much flat. Yeah. So we got to run around this wall. And we're back. It was just that quick. So that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, I want to put this at the beginning instead of the end now, actually. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe. All this stuff helps me grow my channel. Pass the test. 
So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Mead fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. <laughs>